Hi, my sweeties. We got to talk about <laughs> my video today. You see, <coughs> I'm a great one for believing that venting will keep you healthy. You know when you had that problem of holding everything in, afraid to say something to somebody, could you hurt their feelings? Don't. Don't be afraid of hurting anyone's feelings when you are bottling something up. It is no good for your health. It gives you agita, indigestion, ulcers, bad aches and pains, muscles contract, everything goes wrong. And you think you're not healthy. You may even think you're coming down with a cold or the weather's bothering your bones, but no. If you're not venting, every, no one thinks about that. No one. But you see, I'm my neighbor's friend 30, 33 years. And when she brought that piece of cake over tonight, it was a killer. And I'll be perfectly honest, I had half of it. I know I was bad, but I had it. You know, in life we do a lot of things that sometimes we're really sorry we did. And when we look back, we're sorry we didn't do something else. Well, let me tell you something. You've got to learn to bend. Find a friend. And this particular friend has to be able to listen to you. <clears throat> <coughs> she just has to be able to listen. She doesn't have to always understand. She doesn't have to start with conversation. Nothing. She just has to listen. If the person you're annoyed at or you're upset with, you really love them very much, but they're pushing all your wrong buttons. You've got to find a way to get rid of that. Because you see, when you don't, if you love them and you care about them, you start getting resentful. And when you start getting resentful, you're in big trouble. Because you'll lose all that love that you have for them over something stupid, probably. Yeah. And nine out of ten times, it is stupid. But uh, you don't realize that till it's too late sometimes. So people, I, I'm, I keep telling you I've been there, done that. Please believe me when I tell you I have. You can't uh, just not let out what's bothering you. You have to get it out of your system. Getting it out of your system is a healthy thing. I don't care if it, if you have to tell your husband in bed. I don't care. <laughs> If you have to call your friend in Jamaica, or you have to call your friend in the Bahamas, or maybe in England, I don't care where. But you need a specific friend that you can vent to. Because sometimes, if you don't say it, it just eats your muscles, eats your insides out. It's like a bad sickness. And you've got to learn that that's not healthy. No, it's, it's really not healthy. You have to have someone that you can call and say, don't say words to me, I gotta tell you what happened. And you gotta get it all out. I don't care if it takes you 10 minutes, an hour, 45 minutes or two hours. But you gotta get it out. You know why? Because when you get, you can hear yourself. Yeah. You can actually be in the same room and hear yourself speak. And sometimes what's caught up in here once it comes out here, it's not quite as bad after you said it. And then you wonder, well, why did I get that upset? But if you don't let it out here and you don't hear it, you're only going to get sick. Oh, yes, you are. Anybody that doesn't believe that is very foolish. <laughs> you need to open up your pores. Open up your insides. Get it off your chest, as some people would put it. It really is no good to hold a bunch of things in 
because that doesn't only affect you. After a while, it affects everyone around you, your children, your husband, your boss, your job. Oh, and my God, I have seen many people who hold things in and don't say anything. I'm not telling you to go out in the middle of the street and carry on like a horse's petunia. No. What I'm saying is, you have to be able to vent to someone, even if they're not answering you, so that you can hear why you're angry and then figure out a way not to be angry. But until it comes out of your mouth, no matter what somebody says to you, it's not going to help. No, it really isn't. You have to hear yourself. You know that expression, I know I heard it. I was in the room when I said it. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. You have got to... Yeah, you know what? Sometimes if you have a pet, I know this is hard to believe, but let's say you have a dog, and that dog and you are very close. And you would do anything for that dog. Really. Sometimes, if you haven't got the kind of a friend it takes for you to go to and just rat a tat on the shoulder, that pet of yours, you wait till everybody goes out and you sit and talk to the dog. Out loud, though. You have to do it out loud so you can hear it. You can let all the venom the distastefulness, all of that, you can let it right out of your system. It is important to do that. Because life is too short, I keep telling you, you waste a lot of it being angry and annoyed and upset. And you know what, when you look back a couple of years, you say, what the hell was I so mad about? Why did I get so damn upset? It wasn't that big of a deal, except at that moment it seemed that way. That's why you've got to vent. Venting is very good, very healthy. Ask a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Believe me, that's what they'll tell you. I know. I've been doing it all my life. Spitting out why I'm angry. <coughs> and why I'm annoyed. See, like tonight. <laughs> If you saw my video before this, my neighbor thought she was being nice, brought me a piece of cake of that size, and uh, it had a whipped cream on it, and it had caramel and chocolate. I, I have to say it was to die for. It was out of this world, and I needed something, because I'm back in the bread zone. I needed something to get to me. But other than that, when she left, and I was here, my birds are over there. You know the ones you hear in my bed? <laughs> well, when I do it at night, you don't hear them. But when I do it during the day, you hear them. I sat and I yelled and I screamed and I howled and I carried on like a horse's petunia. Simply because she brought the cake and she knew I was on white watches and I watched The Biggest Losers every Tuesday night. As a matter of fact, she calls me every Tuesday. Are you watching The Biggest Losers? And I say, yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd drop in to let you know that I did my venting tonight over that piece of cake and uh, I feel much better about it. Oh, I know put on a half a pound, but I feel much better. So listen, to all of you people whom I love so dearly who are so very good to me, it's time for me to tell you that venting is very good. It is very, very good. It, it's a health habit you should get into. Really. Anyway, listen. It is, I'm in Staten Island and it's 5.13 in the morning. And I love you all, but I think I better get to bed and get some sleep. Um, I love you, so take care. And bon voyage, auf Wiedersehen, and I will see you tomorrow. Love you all, bye.